All right, let's get started with our warm up. So we're gonna use one equalizer for this warm up, and I'm gonna start by grabbing it and holding it horizontally here. So I'm just gonna have you hold on very lightly to the equalizer, start doing some shoulder rolls. I like to take my shoulder rollers to the back because we spend a lot of our day round and forward. So let's stand up nice and tall and take that shoulder roll backwards. And so we can open up our chest and kind of undo what we've done throughout the day. Now I usually do about 10 to 15 repetitions of each exercise but it really just depends on what feels best for your body and what you've been doing throughout the day. All right, so we're gonna go ears to shoulders, nice and easy, nice and easy. Each time you might be going a little bit farther, a little bit more. If you feel any pain, of course, I don't want you to go in that direction, pushing it any farther. So I like to take my warm ups from head to toe or toe to head. I kind of make it a little bit of a system so that way I don't forget any of the muscle groups. And the whole point of our warm up is to, I'm gonna have you turn side to side now, get a little rotation in your neck. The whole idea of the warm up is to get movement in the joints that we plan to be working in our workouts. All right, take that equalizer, and we're just gonna raise it up over your head and bring it down. Raise it up over the head, bring it down. Make sure as you raise it up, you're not arching. We're just getting movement in the spine. We don't wanna over arch right here and sink into the hip. We wanna keep our shoulders stacked directly over our hips. You could even do this warm up on your own without an equalizer, but I do like how it kind of keeps control of my limbs so they're all going in the same direction. All right, we're gonna take this and just press the equalizer forward. You can just take it a little forward and back. Now notice that we are not just stretching the muscles, but we're moving the muscles in a really easy way. We're gonna take this up overhead in a really easy way in a very similar pattern to what you're gonna see in the workouts. So I like to save the static or the holding stretches to the end of the workout. Now we're gonna alternate that front press to the back press. Here we go, front press, overhead press. Front press, overhead press. So part of the point of this is to get some fluid into your joints as well as work those muscles so we don't just jump right into the workout and ask our muscles to start working for us. It's kind of like starting your car on a cold morning or stretching a cold rubber band that has potential to snap, all right? So now we're gonna take that equalizer, hold it, hold it horizontally again. We're just gonna rotate nice and easy, nice and easy, getting some movement in our spine. When it comes to my warm up, I like to include all the different ranges of motion. So I like to do things that are front and back, up and down, like overhead, vertically, horizontally, and then we have to not forget the rotation and even the side bending. So we're gonna add a little bit of side bending here because we move in all these different directions throughout the day and hopefully your workouts are designed so that you're getting all of these rotations and uh, front and back movements and side to side movements as well. All right, we're gonna now add a little bit of hip rotation as well. So I'm just gonna have you take that nice and strong. We don't wanna get loose in the back here. We wanna make sure that our abs are controlling this movement so that we have a nice strong stop here. We don't wanna just have it swinging back behind us, all right? So nice pivot. We're starting to get the hips involved here. So we've gone with the neck, the shoulders, the arms, the mid spine, and now we're taking it down to the hips. So hold it down into the horizontal position and we'll start with squats. Again, making sure that your squats are nice and low, nice and slow, nothing super vigorous during our warm up, just warming up the bigger muscle groups, warming up your hips, your knees, your ankles. You wanna make sure that your knees stay behind your toes for all squats, whether it's in your warm up or your workout. All right, so we're gonna take your equalizer, put it down on the ground, and just use it as a balance tool. I like to take my feet wide for this one and just do a little side lunge, side to side, side to side. So in the workouts, I'm gonna be showing you modifications as well. For example, if you are pretty flexible and you can get down lower, you can take that equalizer down to the ground and go side to side, okay? Side to side with that stretch, get your glutes back, Try to push your heels into the ground. And now we're gonna start getting your heart rate up a little more. So we have warmed up the muscles, but we also plan to do a high intensity interval workout. So I wanna make sure that you get a little bit of spring in your step during your warm up. So we're just gonna run in and out, in and out, in and out with our equalizer, just to get our heart rate up just a little bit more. Good. 
So I want you to take each of these exercises, do them as long as you need to, till your body feels ready to go. All right, there's your warm up. Let's go get the high intensity interval workout.